All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, and the martyrs with their Lord will have their rewards and their light. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that our master Prophet Muhammad is his father and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path till the day of judgment. The Almighty Allah chooses certain people from among his servants as martyrs, as he glory be to him said, so that Allah may reveal the believers, choose martyrs from among you. There are many virtues for the martyrs. The Almighty Allah and his angels testify that the adobe of martyrs will be the paradise. They are alive with their Lord, receiving their provision. Moreover, they witness the great bounty that their Lord has prepared for them, and they will find in the hereafter all that, that Allah promised them. These and other virtues show the high status and possession of murderers, for Allah says, He will not let the deeds of those who are killed for His cause come to nothing. He will guide them and put them into a good state. He will admit them into the paradise he has already made known to them. What a great deed that a man sacrifices his own soul for the sake of defending his homeland to get the status of martyrdom. This is a trade with Allah which will never fail. Allah says, Allah has purchased the persons and possessions of the believers in return for the paradise. Thus, the status of martyrdom is one of the highest ranks in the sight of Allah. Martyrdom for the sake of Allah has different types, the highest of which is martyrdom while confronting the enemies in defense of the nation and seeking the pleasure of Allah. The Prophet peace be upon him said, nothing is dearer to Allah than two drops and two marks. A drop of tear shed out of fear of Allah and a drop of blood shed in Allah's way. Regarding the two marks, they are a mark left in the cause of Allah and a mark left in observing one of the obligatory acts of worship of Allah the Exalted. There are other categories of martyrdom that are not less significant than the previous ones. These include any martyr who dies while protecting his nation or its assets. This includes a policeman who protects the places of worship protects the tourists who visit our country, or protects and preserves the assets of the country. If he dies while faithfully performing his duty, then he dies for the sake of Allah. The same applies to a public official who preserves the public money and dies while doing so. The same applies to the one who dies while defending himself, his honor, money, or defending others and their money or honor. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who dies while defending his property is a murderer. He who dies in defense of his own life is a murderer. And he who dies in defense of his faith is a murderer. He who dies in defense of his family is a murderer. All those persons die while defending their homeland, properties, honor, or any other assets that Islam calls us to protect. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Every Muslim's blood, property, and honor uh, are unlawful to be violated by another Muslim. <clears throat> As martyrdom is a blessing granted by Allah to the best of his servants, second to the prophets, martyrs gain the best adobe on the day of judgment. The virtues of martyrs include that they do not suffer the throes of death. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The martyr does not sense the touch of death, except as one of you senses the, standing, the stinging of an ant. They do not suffer the torture of the grave or its trial. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked by his companions, O Messenger of Allah, why will the believers be tested in their graves except for the martyrs? He said, The flashing of swords above his head is trial enough. Moreover, the reward of their good deeds will not cease. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, 
the actions of every dead person come to a halt with his death, except the one who is on the frontier in Allah's way. The latter's deeds will be made to go on increasing for him till the day of resurrection, and he will be uh, and he will be secure from the trials in his grave. Martyrs will receive great reward from Allah, as the Prophet peace be upon him said. He, the martyr, is forgiven for at the first drop of his blood that's shed. He is shown his place in paradise. He is spared the torment of the grave. He is kept safe from the great fright on the day of judgment. A martyr will come on the day of judgment with the fragrance of musk. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who is wounded in the way of Allah, and Allah knows better who is wounded in his cause, will appear on the day of judgment with blood oozing from his wound, having the color of blood but the scent of musk. With that said, I ask Allah for forgiveness for me and for you. All praise due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad, his household, companions, and his followers. Muslim brothers, our martyrs remain memorable as examples of sacrifice, bravery, and honor. To honor them, the Almighty Allah grants them the real eternal life, as he glory be to him said, Prophet, do not think of those who have been killed in Allah's way as dead. They are alive with their lords, well provided for, happy with what, with, with what Allah has given them of his favor, rejoicing that for those who they have left behind, who have yet to join them, there is no fear, nor will they grieve, rejoicing in Allah's blessing and favor, and that Allah will not let the reward of the believers be lost. Also, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Their souls are in the insides of green birds, having lanterns suspended from the throne, roaming freely in paradise while where they please, then taking shelter in those lanterns. So, so their Lord cast a glance at them and said, Do you wish for anything? They said, What shall we wish for when we roam freely in paradise wherever we please? And thus did he do to them three times. When they say that they would not be spared from being asked, they said, O oh Lord, we, should, we would like for you to put us back into the world so that we fight for your sake once again. And when he saw that they were not in need of anything, they were let. It is not worthy that Whoever hopes to be a martyr, faithfully asking Allah for that, Allah will grant him the status of a martyr. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who asks Allah for martyrdom, Allah will raise him to the high status of martyrs, even if he dies on his bed. What a great reward that Allah grants to those whom he chooses as martyrs. They accompany the prophets and pious people. As Allah said, whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger will be among those he has blessed. The Messengers, the truthful, those who bear witness to the truth and the righteous, what excellent companions these are. O oh Allah, grant your mercy for murders. Save our country, Egypt, and all world's countries.